Hi folks, this is just an update on a few of the projects that I'm working on at the moment just to let you see the progress. Now obviously life gets in the way as well so it takes time but let's start off with the Spongebob Squarepants lamp which is the uh, which I'm working on. So this is the uh, the lamp, it's now been undercoated and you can see that I've had to redraw the actual figure of Spongebob on there so it's now ready for painting and um, so that's been sanded down and, and cleaned and everything else so we're ready to go with that plus as I said on the last video that the hole has been done and if we take this off here because I have to wrap that up these are fittings that you can buy on um, I got these from Amazon and they're called, they're called brass wood nipples and you get one of these light fittings and they fit in there like that so and then you run the cable up through the actual the power cable up through that fitting into that rose and that's uh, and then you get a lampshade and stuff like that so that's how that works so I've got a few of these brass wood nipples because uh, I might be doing a few more lamps so they're handy. So that's the, the design, that's ready to be painted now. I have to get the paints by the way, I don't have the paints, I have to get the paints. This one here, this is the base for it. So what I've done is, so I've drilled a hole through. So there's a hole that goes through SpongeBob all the way down. And then this will be fitted onto this base here like that and there's a hole here and there's the cable run through and this is a standard two core cable because it's only a light bulb okay and um, so this is on the coded as well so that's gonna have to be painted uh, blue probably for the sea and, and touched up and all so that's the that's the spongebob project the the Christmas tree log, uh, I haven't got around to doing that. I do have the plaster scene and everything else for that. I just have to get around to doing the mouldings uh, because I've been doing other projects. This here is wet at the moment. That's varnished. This is going to be a steampunk light. Just a light. Now, I might put a stopcock on it like I did with the last one to be able to switch it on and off. But that's the base for it there. And I'll just have the fittings coming up. Um... The fittings coming up the stem there coming up and it'll be wired in i'll get the cable and it's only a light it's for a neighbor and um, i'm going to do it for a neighbor as a little present and the last thing that i got tied up doing would you believe is a little uh, board box so uh, basically um my wife likes putting out food for the boards but the actual the crows tend to come down and take all the food and the little boards don't seem to get anything so she asked me to make a little uh, board box so the little boards can get in and get at the food but the big boards can't get in so i don't know yet whether it's going to work whether the big boards will still be able to get in or not but if they can i'll have to add a bit more protection or maybe reduce the size of the hole so the little boards can only get in. So this was made out of scrap wood. Um, nothing special. All right, just a standard dowling. And I, even on that side, I have. I, you see, I have the dowling on that side, so the boards can land either side. Um, so that's a, just a little scrap wood board box um, that I'll be putting up there. So there you go. So there are the projects and. Uh, just uh, I'll give you an update when a few more bits and pieces are done. It takes time. Life gets in the way, as I say. So once they're done, and the, I'm waiting on parts to come in as well. So once the parts come in and, and stuff like that, I'll do another video and give you an update. But there you go. So we have the SpongeBob lamp. Christmas log, which I haven't really done anything with. This is going to be a steampunk lamp and then the board box. So... There you go. Catch you later.